And the post office, it's filled with about 200 owls, all sitting on color-coded shelves, depending how fast you want your lettuce to go. And honey dukes is brilliant, sugar quills, flaming whisbies, and blood-flavored lollipops for Halloween. But, I mean, after a while, it did get a bit boring. Don't you think, Ron? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, dead depressing. Hang on, I got you something with from Dervis and Bandy's. It's a pocket sneak scope. It's supposed to spin around and light up when someone untrustworthy is around. Mind you, Fred and George say it's rubbish. Sold to wizard tourists. But I figure it can't hurt you than that. Serious Black is trying to kill me. I'm glad you had fun, really. And thanks for this. Rubbish or not, you're right. It can't hurt. La puissance du sourire. Hoho et mon chikara. El poder, una sonrisa. Power of a smile. Changing the world one smile at a time. Los niños en Guatemala no tienen ningún alimento para gustar. The kids in Guatemala don't have food to waste, so why would you? Jenny told me all about you, Harry. I knew I had to talk to you, meet you if I could. So I decided to use my capture of that brainless old Hagrid to earn your trust. Hagrid's my friend, and you framed him, didn't you? It was my word against Hagrid's. Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. I'll bet Dumbledore saw right through you. I knew it wouldn't be safe to enter the chamber while I was still at school. So I decided to leave behind a diary. You may say preserving my 16-year-old self within its pages, so that one day I would be able to lead another to finish the noble work of Salazar Slytherin. Well, you haven't finished it this time, have you? In a few hours, the Mandrake drought will be ready, and all those people who are petrified will be fine. Haven't I told you? Killing mudbloods doesn't matter to me anymore. For many months now, my new target has been you. Imagine my disappointment when I realized that Ginny had stolen the diary back from you. G Ginny stole the diary? But why? After careful examination, I have determined that Jesse's chocolate chip cookies have twice as much chocolate as the other living brand. At least I think they do. Maybe I better test again. Unfortunately, you can't. Labor Day weekend, 1980. Sunny Jackman dies in a fire that started in her bedroom. Toxicology reports a large amount of over-the-counter sleeping pills in her system. Problem one, Sunny never smoked in bed. Problem two, her husband says she never took sleeping pills. Sam was a trucker. He was away at the time. Problem three, burn patterns on her thighs indicate that she had been tied, but there's no sign of struggle or forced entry. Original investigators suspected it was one of you four kids. But your description of events is all the same. Yeah, we were asleep. No one heard anything. Is that still how you remember it? 
Detective, that is all I have been thinking about for the past 10 years. I have gone over every detail and I still don't know who did it. That's my job. Jen, how did you end up at Sunny's? Well, my dad always drank. So after my mom died, he just got up and left. It was just me, my dog LaFleur, my kid brother, and my sister. It took like four months for social services to finally figure out what was going on. And then when they did, they put us in separate foster homes. Must have made you angry. Your mom dies, and then your dad abandons you? For four months, you're the adult. And now you're the kid again. Take away your siblings? Auntie Sunny and all her rules? All the other children in their stupid problems? But you were different. You solved your own problems. And you solved this one too, didn't you? Come on, s come on, Lee. You're a tough kid with a temper. You knew how to get even, huh? Look, Sunny was firm. Yeah, she had a lot of rules and a lot of chores. But we all had our beefs with her and not enough to kill. You know, people do the vilest things, often with little provocation. Yeah, some people. Yeah, some people. Christmas holiday. A loving son is returning home to visit his family. Parents shouldn't have to bury their kids. Think, don't drink and drive. Have you ever wished you could age years in advance? Or you could hear your doctor diagnose you with a fatal lung disease? Smoke a pack of cigarettes a day, and your wish might come true. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. Okay. You're stranded on an island with me, Chrissy, and Roberta. Um, there's nothing to eat whatsoever. Who would you kill for food? I dispute that question. The chances of that happening are slim and nil. You still have to answer it. Okay, um, Chrissy, I guess. Why? Because she'd feed more people. <laughs> okay, truth or dare? Um, truth. Do you like your parents? Um, well, I don't really know my parents, but as far as I know, they're jerks. You know, I believe what the soldier said about your parents not always being right. I mean, just because they're adults doesn't mean they know crap. I didn't think they did. I did. My dad moved out, and they're getting a divorce. What? I thought your parents got along. I lied. Why? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to have a normal family, like the Brady Bunch. Um, six kids sharing one bathroom doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun to me. And besides, Mike and Carol are widowed. Okay, the Partridge family. Um, Shirley Jones, widowed. Um, the Bonanza, widower. Oh, my three sons, widower. Emily Hillbillies? Widower. <laughs> See, not all families are perfect. It's okay to have things be crappy. Well, I guess my family's normal then, but that's what hurts. My dad chose to leave. I really miss him. <laughs>